so first of all good morning all of you in last lecture we have seen what is mean by function what is the use of function and its implementation using some problem statement today also we will see some more problems based on the functions in pre previous lecture we have seen types of functions then elements or parts of function so i will repeat it the part of functions or elements of functions are function call function definition and function prototype great so let's start with our problem statements so first i will open id that is dev c++ yes screen is visible to everyone yes sir yes sir so create one new source file save it using some suppose today we will take one more example of factorial how to calculate factorial so give the name to the source file as a fact save it okay so here what is the pro problem statement first we have open our problem statements list modified list so we have solved this first program then find the length of the string then implement a program to find factor of any number using user defined function so we have to create user defined function for the calculating factorial so how to calculate it so first copy the program then paste here copy then paste the program here so what is the program to implement factorial function so we know that functions are of different four type based on the return type and the argument list of the function so we will solve this function factorial by using function with argument with return type okay so guys we have formed factorial function with argument and with return type okay so this is called as this is called as prototype proto type of a function actually we have designed the function as per the user's requirement we have designed it based on the user's requirement here what is the user's requirement user tell to the fact function that i have given one value to you what is your duty to calculate what is the factorial of that particular number and return that factorial value to me here me function means a main function so main functions call the fact function so we will see three things what are the different elements or the parts of the function in that how to write that because every function user defined function we have to write these three different parts next thing how to write the code in the factorial function okay so what is the prototype for the function factorial function with argument with return type so let's starts with our including header file Hash include stdio dot h. Great. Then your main function integer main is your main function. Write the code here. Next, what we have to do? We have to design the user defined function fact. So what is the output looks like on the console? For that, I will take another file. So how output looks like on the console? so first message is enter any number great then user enters some number suppose 3 okay 
then message is factorial is equal to what is the factorial of the three that is six okay we know what is the factorial how to calculate the factorial factorial means three into two into one so it gives you six so this is the expected output on the console but what is the what is the agreement or contract between the main function and fact function so main function gives the one value to the fact function and fact calculate the factorial of that number and return what is the factorial and main function display what is the value of that particular factorial so prototype is with argument with return type so return what it returns int the name of the function suppose fact and what argument we have to pass to the fact function that is a number so this is one element of the function or the part of the function that is called as function declaration or function or called as function prototype okay great so function declaration or function prototype next this is one element of the function guys please note that every user defined function or built in function every function having three elements or the parts of the function first is the function declaration or function prototype then function call and then function definition so let's move to the next part so what is the what function what what is the you main function and fact function contract that main function pass one value so write print f what is the message on the console enter any number so copy this message as per the console great give slash n for the next line okay. then scan f to take the value from the user so percentage d again comma ampersand of a where we want to save in any variable a or you can give the another name to that variable also great next when the main function scan the value okay take the value from the user then main function call to the fact function this is called as function call fact i have provided one value to you what is the value a so what is the discussion between main and fact fact main call to the fact and tell them i have passed one value a to you you can calculate the factorial for the a variable or number and then return that value so this function must be catching variable catch that into suppose f variable okay and f is also of type int great so this is called as function call this is called as function call and this is the second element or the part of the function great after calling to the fact function and now design the definition of the fact function where we design it either we can design it write it above the main function or below the main function but in this c language procedure oriented language as per the syntax we have to write the definition of the fact function below the main function definition okay so what is the how to write the definition in fact then pass the argument in a great now calculate the factorial of a number a so that is the duty of the fact function how to calculate the factorial for that i have take one variable i is equal to 1 i less than equal to a i plus plus okay so take one value that is f a or f for factorial f is equal to f into i because i starts from 
1 to a we want the multiplication whatever number we have to take on from that number till 1 we have to multiply that value and take the value as a and it value is a factorial value okay so f is equal to f into i so initial value of i is 1 then increment 2 3 4 till whichever value provided by the user if user provide 3 then 1 into 2 into 3 and that value factorial result is saved into f variable great now now it's time to return the value return f because what is the discussion or contract between main and fact function main function tells to the fact function fact i have provided one value to you what is your duty you have to calculate the factorial and return what is the factorial value to me so the function having written type int when you call that at that time catching variable must be there because this function return the value so this return value is catched to the f value now now it's time to display the value that is factorial is equal to same message we want to print on the console so print f and that is the duty of main function so print f factorial is equal to percentage d comma where is the factorial in f variable great and last statement is return zero because main function returns integer value zero means successfully termination of program yes now let's start to compile okay there is one error what is the error i undeclared first use in this function so declared it also there is a f is undeclared so declared it in i comma comma f both variables we want to declare in the fact function great again compile it yes there is one error what is the error expected okay so there is no semicolon at the end of the statement so it gives this error great so it's great for us that there must be some syntactical error so we know that which type of errors are there and we can resolve it now there is no error no warning now it's time to execute it okay enter any number so i have entered three and press enter so what is the factorial factorial is a six okay so guys what we have to do we have to write the code for the factorial in the separate function that is whenever we required again factorial value what we have to do suppose we want again one factorial value so what we have to again take the value from the user and that pass to the fact function again call to the same fact function no need to write the whole body of the fact function again so we have divide our whole program or main program into sub programs and that sub programs are nothing but your functions and what is the prototype of this function prototype is with argument with return type great guys hope you understand any doubts yes i will uh, debug this program so it's very much clear to all of you then click on the debug okay so this line is started add watch to a click on the f click on the add watch great so let's take initial value of a is equal to 1 f is equal to 0 click on the next line so next line means your first statement get executed that is enter any number suppose user enters 3 why we cannot take it because what happens here this statement is not executed so click on the next line and then check here so automatically 3 3 whatever we pressed that is in the input buffer okay so that is in the input buffer when we execute this canf line automatically 33 get displayed here because we have pressed 3 two times 
okay but we required only one three so press enter when you press enter automatically value of a variable get changed that is three now guys don't use next line instead of that into function why we can use into function because this factorial goes to the this factorial definition if you click on the next line then automatically this code is executed and printf function is executed then so use into function everywhere in every language c c++ java c sharp python everywhere okay there are two options for debugging step in step over step over means next line step over and step into into function is step in means its internal definition get checked so click on the into function so what happens the cursor jumps from this function call to function definition of the factorial this whole is called as function definition and this is the third this is the third element of the function that is function definition great so what is the initial value now here i is not declared so click on the i add watch so initial value of i is 0 when it executes it becomes now again f add watch okay already f is there so into function so what happens guys f becomes 0 and oh here it gives some problematic i is equal to 1 okay so next from into function because here f is always yes if it returns the value goes to here and what is the value it get displayed okay but guys always remember we first stop the execution initialize the f to the 1 if it takes 0 then whole value 0 into 1 0 0 into like this so initialize f is equal to 1 always okay this is the good practice so compile it run it and enter the value as a 5 and check the factorial is equal to 120 okay check it 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 what is the value is it correct yes it is correct yes sir it is correct sir great i hope you understand how to calculate the factorial of any function using user defined function yes this is a user defined function that means it is the contract between the main function and your fact function that what they have decided what to do again if the prototype we have changed that is with argument with argument no return type if with argument no return type no return type this is the prototype of the function means what main decided fact i have provided one value to you you have to calculate the factorial and yourself you display what is the value of the factorial so what is the return type of the function in this case void void is the return type in this case if void we have to change in the prototype also void so here also we have give the make the changes that is void fact int a okay also while calling so everywhere there is a change that is in the function declaration function call and function definition third part is called as the function definition great so everywhere there is a change so void fact int a so you can make the change here yes then what is the decision what is the requirement of the main i have passed one value to you you can yourself calculate the factorial so don't try it here cut it and write the statement instead of whatever maybe the factorial factorial value is displayed by the fact function itself and fact function does not return anything so what is the prototype of this fact function with argument without return type okay without or no return type without return type so each and every function as per the user's requirement we have to change it 
Okay, but what is the output? Output remains same. Just compile it and run it. So if the user enters three, what is the out output of this factorial? Six. Guys, hope you understand. Yes, yes sir. That means function is the same. Function is same. But what is the contract? Contract node between the main function and fact. What is the discussion between that two functions? Actually, in real life, main is one individual and fact is also one individual. They discuss with each other and uh, decide what to do. So for that, main function and main is a one person and fact is a one person. Okay. So main function gives the task to the fact function that I have provided one value to you. You have to calculate what is the factorial of that value A and yourself you have to display the factorial value. Great. So that is the discussion. Other way is also there. Main is does not having very busy. Main function is very busy and he told to the fact function fact you have to take value from user from yourself and calculate the factorial and display yourself so what is the function def, uh, function uh, prototype without argument without argument without return type so here function does not have any argument okay you can write void also or it is optional. Okay. Only empty parenthesis indicates that there is no argument. Then we have to change our function declaration. Okay. Then function call. We have not pass any value. Just call to the fact function. This is the function call. This is function declaration and this is function definition whole. So what are the changes we have to made here? Cut this statement. And we have to write it here. OK, so first what? F is double, so remove that. So here first enter any number. We have to ask that is main function, not main function ask that fact function take the value from the user. Then calculate the factorial and print the factorial. So function without argument without return type so call yes just call to the function great output remains same output does not change so execute it enter any value suppose 3 press enter factorial is equal to 6 yes guys hope you understand yes sir yes great so Lots of times some students ask me, sir, in this uh, X, X, Y, Z author's book function of the fact is written in different way and you have to tell me the in different way. No, you can write in yourself as per the requirement. As per the requirement from the user, we have to create our own functions depending on the requirements. So it changes. Either with argument without return type, that is the decisions, and that decisions are taken by you yourself. Okay. Yes. Any doubts till this? Shall we move? Yes. Yes, sir. So please explain void void function, please. Uh, which function void here void why we return void because this fact function does not return anything to the calling function so here main main is which type of function main is calling function we have no types and this fact function what is it is called as called function Calling function is a main function. Fact is a called function. OK, what is the discussion between that fact? You can take the value from the user, calculate the factorial, 
display the factorial yourself don't return me any value means this function having what is the return type void void means does not return any value to the calling function understood yes sir uh, and if we write integer that means main functions return integer value to os this operating system this operating system dos is a calling function in this case who calls to the main function dos this operating system or simply os operating system so it returns value to the operating system as a zero means means successfully termination of the program okay and if it returns non zero value anywhere in between that is that function terminated interruptedly or unsuccessfully then it returns non zero value okay and always just check when you execute it compile and run enter any number you have to enter 3 then here process exited after 3.035 seconds with return value 0 here if return value is 0 you have to know that your program is terminated successfully and if it is not terminated successfully then it returns value other than 0 great that's why main function is having return type as a integer so we have to return here integer 0 at the end last statement of your body of main function why it is last statement because if you execute every line successfully then what it returns 0 means it is successfully termination of your main method yes i hope you understand guys yes any doubts yes sir okay so shall we move to the next point okay so for as per your list there is a we have take seventh problem statement swap the content of two numbers using user defined function call by value okay there are two types of functions call by value and call by reference okay so for call by reference we have to know the pointers so that point we have seen at the time of pointer chapter so new source file yes then name of the problem statement that is swap the content of two numbers using user defined function okay so what is the prototype function with argument and without return type okay so function with argument without return type and call by value we will see what is mean by call by value so give the function first include the header file hash include std io dot h then integer then integer main okay so we have to first swap function what is the swap function we have to pass two values to the function so what is the declaration or function prototype integer a comma integer b that two values we have to swap okay and what it returns function without return type if return type is not there then write here void if this swap function does not return any value then write void okay and this is called as function prototype this is called as function prototype part of the functions okay or elements of the functions very important point is that three different parts of the function function prototype function call and function definition great now what is decision main function pass two values to the swap function so take two values from the user integer a comma b okay then printf 
इनसाइड प्रिंट है एंटर ए एंड बी पल्यूज स्लैश इन यू द सेमी कोलन स्कैन एफ इनसाइड टू वैल्यूज परसेंटेज डी परसेंटेज डी कॉमा एम्पर साइन ऑफ ए कॉमा एम्पर साइन ऑफ बी सो वी हैव टू टेक टू वैल्यूज फ्रॉम द यूजर एंड देन कॉल टू द स्वैप फंक्शन सो कॉल स्वैप ओके सो स्वैप इज अनदर पर्सन हियर ओके देन वी हैव टू पास वैल्यू ऑफ ए कॉमा बी Don't write here int a, int b. Here only you have to pass a and b, two values. Function does not return any value, so catching variable there not there. Okay, and this is second part of the function that is called as function call. Great. After that, main function return zero. Yes. Now it's. time to write the definition of the swap function so how to write the definition same line similar line okay we have to copy it this is the first line of your function definition don't write semicolon at the end of this only for the prototype there is a semicolon function call there is a semicolon but after the definition there is no semicolon but in the body statements ends with the semicolons now swap how to swap the two values we know take the temporary value t write t is equal to a great a is equal to b yes and again b is equal to t so take one integer value t t is equal to a a is equal to b b is equal to t okay so this is the code for swapping two values means first a's value is assigned to the temporary value t B's value is copied into A, and uh, again T's value means it is a A's value is copied to the B. Now display int f after swapping fashion print f double quotes. A is equal to percentage D, and B is equal to percentage T, comma A comma B. Okay, so let's save it. Swap one, then C source code file. Save it. First, compile the program. no warning no error good then execute the program enter a and b's value suppose 10 is the value of a 20 is value of b after swapping a is equal to 20 b is equal to 10 means value of a get replaced by value of b or swap exchange for that we all uh, we can before swapping here we have to swap so give the message that is printf before swapping fashion printf double quotes value of a is equal to percentage d and b is equal to percentage d because why we have to write these statements because we know what is the initial values of a and b now compile it and run it enter the values of a first value suppose 10 b is value 20 so before swapping value of a is equal to oh no it gives some error after swapping is correct why it gives you error yes guys let's observe comma a and yes why comma b yes yes comma a and comma b great so it is remaining and also slash n here is a slash n but after this line we required slash n now save it compile it 
run it. Great. So initial suppose value is 10. You can take any value. So before swapping value of A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 20. After swapping A is equal to 20 and B is equal to 10. Yes. Guys, hope you understand. Now, here value of A and B is passed to the swap function. How? Call by value. So this is a type of call by value because we don't pass the address. And if we pass the address like this, ampersand, ampersand, like this, swap address of A and address of B. Okay, here ampersand, that is the address, reference, and this type of function, if like this, then it is called as call by reference. But for this concept, we required pointers. So we will see that in the pointers chapter call by reference but here how we can pass the values to the function by value means actual value a is copied to the a variable and b's value is copied to the b variable so actual values are copied not the addresses so it is called as call by value okay guys understood why it is called as call by value and when it is called by reference, when we pass address, that is ampersand and ampersand, but it requires pointers. So that points we will cover in the pointer chapter itself. Okay, great. So any doubts till this? Yes, any doubts till this? For your reference, Paste the code here in the chat window itself. Okay, also factorial. Okay. Great. Guys, hope you understand. If you have any doubts, please ask. If you have any doubts till this, Yes, any doubts? OK, so no, sir. great. So I will give you one problem statement. Actually, we have to find how to calculate the prime in the function chapter itself. How to calculate? You can see that video also. And the code is also available, I think, in the chat window. So implement a program to find whether the given number is prime or not using the user defined function. Only what we have to do? Code remains same. We, we have designed the user defined function. You have to take prototype as per your requirement. Means with argument, with written type, or you can solve it by using all the four ways. So this is the today's task. So I will. Uh, yes. Add new topic. Post to the forum. Yes, so here is the program. Implement a program to find whether the given number is prime or not using user defined function. Already we have passed some problem statement on the prime number itself. OK. So already we have find out how to calculate the prime of any number. You have to implement it using any one of the type of the function means either using user uh, with argument with written type without argument without written type like this. OK. So your time starts now. This discussion forum having marks. Okay, so your time starts now. <laughs> 